Today on Sci Guys, Grape Plasma. Welcome to the Sci Guys. My name is Mark. I'm Ryan. On today's episode, we'll be doing grape plasma. Great plasma. Grape plasma. Great. Grape. Great. Grape. Pa. Pa. A plasma is an ionized gas. Plasma forms when a gas is exposed to large amounts of energy. The only ingredient you're going to need for this experiment is grapes. So for equipment, you're going to need a knife, a cup, cutting board, and a microwave. For this experiment, we recommend the following safety equipment gloves goggles to protect your eyes, and an apron or lab coat to protect your clothes. Also, we're going to be producing minute quantities of ozone, which is toxic, so we recommend doing the experiment in a well-ventilated area and allowing any gases to dissipate before you clean out your microwave. In order to prepare a grape for this experiment, we're going to be cutting it in half, but not all the way, because we want to leave a little bit of the skin intact. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the cut on the board, most of the way through, and then simply fold it up, like so. The next step in our experiment is to take your grape that was partially cut, place it in the middle of your microwave, take your glass, and place it over top of your grape. You're going to shut the door, set your microwave for 10 seconds, and press start. Once you've done your experiment, you're going to have to dispose of your grape. Make sure you have your gloves on because the glass and the grape will be very hot. Open your microwave, remove the glass from the top of the grape. Now this glass is going to contain most of the gases and smoke released from the grape. So you're going to want to release that by a window or a well-ventilated area. Next, remove your grape from inside the microwave and dispose of it in the trash. In this next clip, we're going to show you what happens when you microwave a grape without the glass. Now, we do not recommend you do this at home because it can be very violent and can damage your microwave. Let's look at our experiment a little closer. First, we have to look at what plasma is. Plasma is the fourth state of matter and it is created by heating a gas hot enough to cause its molecules to reach an excited state. This excited state causes the gas molecules to release energy as light and heat. Gases can also be made into plasma by lasers and microwave generators. Microwaves produce electromagnetic waves. The grapes in our experiment act as a focusing antenna for the electromagnetic waves that are created by our microwave. As the waves reach our grapes, they are focused and amplified to the point where the energy created by these waves creates an electrical arc between the two sides of our grape. This energy is so great that it is transferred to nearby gaseous air molecules and causes them to vibrate until they reach a really excited state. This state is known as plasma. The new state occurs in our experiment when you see the flare or flame of the plasma burst out from our grapes. The plasma will continue to flare until the small bit of skin we left intact on our grapes breaks, or until the excited air molecules can release enough of the energy that they have been given to return back to a gaseous state. The air molecules in our experiment release the extra energy they have been given as light and heat. Well, that's it for Great Plasma. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video and like to see more experiments, subscribe to us on YouTube and drop us a comment below. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, message us on Facebook or drop us a question in the comments below and we'll answer it as best possible. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, wait, you said grape plasma. You should have just said grape plasma. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.